What's going on YouTube? Once again, it's Nostalgia Boy, and I'm here today to drop another vid. Today's vid is going to be some jerseys out of my MLB collection. I don't have all of it here. I have most of my NBA, as you can see behind me. But, you know, with a recent trip back to Philadelphia, I was able to bring some more jerseys with me, and I was able to bring some baseball. I want to give a shout out to one of my followers, Noel. He's been commenting on the last couple of uh, videos that I've been dropping. And he stated that he's, you know, big into like 70s era baseball. So the two jerseys that I'm going to show are from the 70s. So I hope you enjoy the vid, Noel. And I hope all my subscribers enjoy, you know, these classic jerseys out of my collection i have shown this in a pickup vid or a, you know an mlb vid before this is my 79 willie orton i think this is one of the last i think this was the last season he was an all-star i may be wrong but i know he did make the all-star appearance as a mariner this is also the same year that the mariners held the all-star game here goes the patch to it I love sky blue baseball jerseys. I have a handful of them, and I definitely would like to get some more. So let's get to the jerseys. Let's start off with an instant classic. You know, I was raised, wasn't born, but I was raised most of my life outside of Philadelphia. You know, congrats to Mighty Fan, you know, Big Slim. You know, all my friends, you know, so excited and happy and elated and joyous, overwhelmed. You know, even family members, you know, the Eagles win the Super Bowl. Still a Cowboys fan. They're still turd birds to me, but congrats. And it's so good to see, you know, family and friends so happy. So, this is the 1976 Philadelphia Phillies Greg Lazinski jersey. This has a super flair, as my man Big Selm would say. It's a, it's a double patch jersey. The 70s and 80s era of uh, Philly's jersey are like iconic and so beautiful to me. The blue, the burgundy. I love the 79, like all red burgundy suits that they wore. I love this pinstripe with the cream. I love... You know, the blue jerseys, they have the burgundy on it. Just the different layouts that they had. They're, you know, they're all beautiful. This is a size 44. This is this year was a zip-up jersey. 19 in burgundy. Single stitch. Phillies symbol. Single stitch. Here goes the jock tag. This is a first run made in China. It has the nameplate year tag under the Cooperstown patch. On the newer run, the patch is over here. So you have the Cooperstown patch by itself. Then you have the nameplate year tag over here. On the right sleeve, you have the Centennial patch for MLB. And this is for the National League. And on your left sleeve, you have your bicentennial patch to commemorate America's 200 years of existence. And down the side, you have the racing stripe, which is also on the shoulder, going down. On the back, on the nameplate, you have Luzinski single stitch, 19 single stitch on older run. They don't have the nameplate, they just have the name stitched on the back. This is uh, more correct to that era when they were wearing this jersey. They had a nameplate, but in the groups, old is gold. And, of course, anybody who collects Mitchell Ness, you know, they haven't always been perfect. But we still love the product that they give out. Next up is a super grail of mine. One of the greatest baseball players of all time. Hammering Hank Aaron Milwaukee Brewers jersey. You know, I was lucky to find this in an XL. 
I'm on the lookout in the XL or large for the baby blue one. You know, of course, I said that sky blue, favorite color. But I was uh, very happy to find this and get it in my collection. Brewers is double stitch, 44 double stitch. This is your older Made in USA jock tag. Here goes the neck tag. Let's spin it around. No name on the back. 44 double stitch. So, this is all I got to show today. I hope y'all like the vid. I hope you like the jerseys. And, of course, as always, I'm out.